So today's video is gonna be slightly different to our normal videos. This is not a walkthrough of one of our kitchens that we've done. What this is, is a collage of lots of the kitchens that we've done over the last year. And the idea of it is, is that if you are looking to get an outdoor kitchen, you're thinking about getting one and you don't know where to start, this video is gonna give you lots of ideas, lots of inspiration, hopefully, of the materials you can use, the appliances that it can go into your kitchen, and hopefully, give you a starting block of, of where to start. So if you are looking for an outdoor kitchen, grab a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee, glass of wine, sit back and just watch all of the kitchens that we've done and get some great ideas. So here we've got rendered kitchens. Let's have a look at these. So with rendered kitchens, we make them out of block work. And then we normally use a monocouche render, which is a colored render. There's lots of different colors available, or you can use a sand and cement render uh, and then paint it whatever color you like. This kitchen has got openings for the logs, which are really good. You can put shelves in there, keep accessories in there. And you can see here the whole garden transformation, the colors, the plants, it works really, really well. Uh, so this one here, again, this is a rendered kitchen. It's a stone gray render, um, dark granite worktops. It's got gas barbecue Napoleon. It's got a five minute alpha fridge. It's been dressed really, really nicely. Scaffold board cladding around the inside on the, on the, on for the shelter. Um, it gives a really nice enclosed look. Really, really good. There you go. You can see the whole thing there. They've got all the lighting in there. There's a heater in there. Um, Bell has been dressed really nicely. So this one has got an aluminium pergola over the top of it with um, louvres that can be opened and closed. Um, this has got a rendered finish. It, that's a monolith Kamado oven there. It's got storage, it's got a double fridge, granite worktops again, um, seating like a bar area there as well. So you can have your friends and family sat there while you're cooking. Um, you've got the dining table under there as well. Lots of different options available with these aluminium pergolas as well, different colors and different sizes. So this one is slightly different. This has got the open shelving, so there are no cupboards or stainless steel cupboards as such. You've got the Napoleon barbecue there and you've got an Alpha Capolino built-in pizza oven there, which works really well. The spec for this one was a Mediterranean style kitchen. They've dressed it really, really nicely. Um, you see a lot of kitchens like this on Pinterest. We've got a sink in the middle there as well. It's got Decton worktops. Um, this looks absolutely incredible. Uh, so this is the country kitchen that's been rendered as well. This is a sand and cement render and then painted. Um, they've got a green egg, they've got a pizza oven, they've got a fire magic drop-in grill as well. Uh, they've got the butler sink there as well, you can see. They've actually made that copper tap themselves, which is quite a, quite a good idea. Um, this is another one. So this is the shelter that we did as well. You can see all the slatted softwood battening around the sides, which gives it that enclosed look, but it still actually lets air and wind come through. Um, let's get rid of the smoke from the from the Kamado and the and the pizza oven. It's got electrics. They've got fairy lights all the way around there. Granite worktops again. Um, a heater over there. Um, this is a lovely kitchen. This one. They've got two side burners as well. You can see there. Uh, again, another one, so uh, slightly different on this one are the worktops. So we use porcelain slabs for the worktops on this as opposed to granite or decton. The, um, the upside of that being that they're a lot, lot cheaper. Um, the downside being that you have a join in between every single slab. Um, very simple layout, very nice. So these are tiled kitchens now. So these, we do a lot of what they're called split face tiles, which are these sort of, they're sort of graphite little slate style tiles. They're really, really popular. And um, they come in lots of different size, um, lots of different colors, sorry, and sizes. Um, this has got the Beef Eater um, S4000 barbecue that's got a side burner built in, double fridge, lots of storage. It's got a sunstone warming tool there as well, which we don't have a lot of when. Uh, this one is a tile. So these are, I can't remember if they're porcelain or ceramic tiles, but they're probably 600 mil long by 300 mil wide standard tile that you use in your bathroom. It's got decked on worktops. It's got the Deli Vita wood-fired oven there, the Beef Vita Pro Line um, barbecue and side burner uh, alongside the Beef Vita drawers and doors there. Um, that's a really smart kitchen. It's got a Napoleon um, double fridge at the end there as well. And notice the waterfalls at the end on the worktops. So this here is a beautiful kitchen. That you can see in the front is an Evo, which is like a big teppanyaki plate. You've got the Napoleon Prestige Pro barbecue, uh, an alfresco pizza oven, which is ginormous, and then the Kamado Joe XL Kamado oven. 
Um, lots of storage, lots of space. We did the whole shelter here, actually. The shelter is about nine meters long. You can see we put roof lights in there as well. This gets used all the time. It's a fantastic space for entertaining. So on this one, you can see the split paste tiles underneath the pizza oven. That was actually there when we got here. And what we did was added the Napoleon kitchen unit. So those powder coated stainless steel and stainless steel units, we added onto the end with the barbecue and we put the pizza oven in as well. And actually it works really, really well together. So Decton is a, uh, a surface or a, a material that we use for worktops mainly, but you can also clad the sides on it. Um, it's a really hard wearing material. It's really good for outside, comes in lots of different colors. Um, resistance to the hot, the cold, scratch proof. It's, it's, it's a brilliant product. Uh, we use it a lot in our kitchens uh, and it looks really good. I mean, these look like they've just been carved out of a, like a chunk of Decton. Yeah, here's another example that we've done exactly the same thing where we've got the worktop and the sides as Decton. Um, you can also see on the left-hand side there, the Gosney Dome pizza oven, which is, which is a really cool oven. It's a hybrid gas and wood fired. Um, so for doing pizzas and other things as well, not just pizzas. You've got the double fridge there, the storage. Um, this is just super modern, super contemporary, really sleek. Um, and you've got the fridge there, and, uh, not the fridge, the sink. So this one was an outdoor bar, more of a bar area. So you've got like the, <clears throat> the softwood sort of timbers, beams, and you've got all the slats that have all been all been stained at the back you've got the uh you've got the shelving that's hold all their bottles this is one of our kitchens actually that we build in house you've got napoleon big 32 700 series barbecue there and fridge decton worktops this is a really really lovely outdoor space here's another one of our kitchens um, that we build here this is a simple l shape you've got the beef eater s2000 barbecue there and a fridge granite worktops that's a little bar area above the fridge you can see that they've got stools behind um, that's a five burner s2000 so that's going to feed lots of people um, we actually built this in time for a wedding at the customer's house so yeah you can see the bar there with the bar stools um, and this works really nicely in this house uh, here's another one of our kitchens that we've done so this was in a huge uh, outdoor uh, covering um, that the customer had built they'd had their own builders in and for this one we used Decton on the worktops but we actually created a form underneath so that they look like they're 100 mil thick the Decton itself is only 12 mil thick um, but we've created it to make it look like it's it's 100 mil and it looks really good with our units there everything is built in uh, so this kitchen is used, um, we use a product called um, Cedral Weatherboard, which is a cement board cladding that comes in lots of different colors. It looks really contemporary and really, it's really hard wearing. We've also done a, a concrete, polished concrete worktops, which we made in our warehouse and then we brought them down and installed them. This kitchen has got cedar cladding, like a vertical cedar cladding with granite worktops. You've got the Alpha 5 Minuti and the Napoleon 665 and a side burner next to it. Cedar looks really, really nice outside. There's lots of different options, either cladding like this or you can have battens as well. You can go vertical or you can go horizontal. Um, it gives a really, really good look. It goes very well with anthracite as well. So if you have an anthracite shelter, shelter, sorry, it looks very good. Um, here we've got um, some larch, so we were actually matching this to some cladding that the customer had on their house, um, which we did. So this is sawn larch, and those worktops, I think they were called something verdi. They're absolutely beautiful, like a grey colour with these purple veins running through them. The customer had their own barbecue, which we reused. We also do garden rooms as well, which a lot of people don't know. So this one we built from scratch. Um, using timber frame, it's fully insulated. The left-hand side is a storage area for the customers' paddle boards and their bikes. And then the other side, this section here that you're looking at, this is their, um, their sort of their bar, their family room, and they use it for, for films, um, board games, and uh, like parties in the evening. They've got a lovely little fireplace in there, so it looks really good. So here's an example of a brick kitchen. So a lot of the kitchens we do, we build using bricks and we try and match um, as close as we can the bricks that your home is made of, for example. So, you know, if you've got a house made of a certain type of brick, we will try and replicate that so it really looks like an extension of your home. You've got the monolith Kamado there. The customer had their own uni pizza oven, fridge, sink, storage. Um, 
they've got absolutely everything and that one we did the whole garden here's another brick one that we did this was one of our first ones that we did a long time ago um, you can see actually that the egg is built into the worktops there which um, which we don't often do normally we leave the whole thing open but they specified that that's how they wanted it built in you've got a beef eater s3000e barbecue there as well Here's another brick built one. Uh, you can see we're missing, I think it's a pull out drawers there, but you've got a, a Napoleon 500, Pro 500 grill and the green egg there. You've got a, a, a bar area on the right, which is slightly higher. So what you probably can't see is on the other side is they'll have bar stools for friends and family to sit there whilst you're cooking. There you go, you can see that there. Uh, and you can see again, we've used the stone and the brick from the house. So it really looks like part of the house. So looking at shelters, this is a simple softwood construction we've done and then we've clad it with cedar cladding and we've painted the timbers anthracite. And this is what I was saying earlier, is that the anthracite and the cedar goes really well together. And this um, kitchen is the Napoleon Oasis kitchen, which is the powder coated aluminium and stainless steel. You can see actually, it's nice to have a, uh, an evening picture where you can see the lights on the barbecue lighting up as well. Here's another example of the Napoleon. Um, so these are all modular units. Um, <clears throat> there's lots of different units to choose from. They all have different functions like bins, um, paper towel holders, drawers, cupboards, um, lots of different, you can arrange them in any different layout that you can. You can have any worktop that you want on there. They look very modern, very contemporary. Um, this has got a Decton worktop on there. That's actually a Prestige Pro 8825, which is the biggest grill they do. This here is the Beef Eater Cabinex. Uh, which is a, a very nice uh, outdoor kitchen. It's available in, uh, I think, eight different layouts. Um, it comes with everything included. This will be installed in one day. It gets delivered to site, we'll come along, we'll install it, and you're cooking that afternoon. Um, it's made of a composite material. It only comes in that black color. There is a Kamado unit that's going to be coming soon to be available soon as well. This is the Beef Eater Harmony or Signature Series. Um, this only comes in that grey worktop, um, cream ceramic fronted um, colours. But it, again, it's available in about seven or eight different layouts, which are in different sizes. Some have single fridges, some have double fridges, some have five burners, some have, depending on the space that you've got, um, there's something to fit there. This is the Beef Eater Fresco Pro, so this is available in a number of different colors. Um, this is customizable, so you can actually have L shapes with this, you can have U shapes with this. If, if this is something you're interested in, just get in touch with us and we can you know, put together a design for you. It'll hold any of the Beef Eater barbecues. You can have sinks in there, side burners. Um, you can put your pizza ovens on the top. Um, that there's the Pro-Line Beef Eater. So this is the um, Burnout Lux. So Burnout are a German manufacturer, very high end. Um, they come to the UK in 2022. This Lux version is their, their top of the range um, kitchen that they do. Um, this is their, their normal range, their standard range, which again is the stainless steel, powder coated stainless steel frames with composite door fronts. Um, you've got choices of like wheels or legs. It'll house pretty much any uh, barbecue, Kamado oven, pizza oven that's available in the UK. You can see these have been powder coated black. Um, so if you prefer that black color as opposed to the stainless steel, then you can. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and you've found some ideas and some inspiration from it um, for your project or your outdoor kitchen. If you've got any questions on any of the kitchens, any of the materials, any of the appliances, leave a comment below or just get in touch with us via email or phone. I'll leave all the details for that in the link in the description below. If you want to see what we're currently up to, we have a Facebook and an Instagram account. We try and post on there at least twice a week with stories and posts and reels, and that shows most up-to-date what we're doing. If you like these videos and you want to see more videos of the kitchens that we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button. You'll get notified every time we bring out a new video. We try and do one of these once a week. So thanks very much for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.